All right, the investigation into the unmasking controversy finally moving forward, and the, uh, the more insightful stuff is yet to come. The House Intelligence Committee issuing subpoenas to the nation's top intel agencies, demanding documents relating to three Obama era officials Susan Rice, John Brennan, and Samantha Power, who are all suspected, perhaps, of making improper requests to unmask Trump associates' names. Hmm. So what happens next? Fox News senior judicial analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano joins us now. We are getting closer and closer to uh, addressing the problems that happened to Donald Trump when he was Mr. Donald Trump. Do you remember back just a few months ago when Devin Nunes suddenly ran from his office in the House of Representatives to the White House, and we learned what that was about. Mm -hmm. Some NSA agents had come to him with some raw data. It was so hot, he had to tell the White House about it immediately. It was so hot that he decided he had to re recuse himself from the Russian investigation. A, he's back in the Russian investigation. What do you think it was? Evidence of unmasking for political purposes. The use of raw intelligence data for political purposes. That is the most serious threat to personal liberty in America and to the stability of this country since the Civil War. That somebody in the White House or the administration could take raw intelligence data about their political opponents and use it to the harm of those political opponents. It is the reason why those who say, I'm not afraid when the government spies on me, I have nothing to hide. It is the reason why mass suspicionless spying should not happen, is unlawful, is un Constitutional doesn't keep us safe and will destroy so our freedom. It's beyond Mike Flynn. <clears throat> Say again. The accusation is it's beyond Mike Flynn. Yes. It's, so, and the accusation by the question that we saw from Trey Gowdy, we saw it, and you see, you picked this up right away, when he said to John Brennan, was there ever you as an ambassador that asked for the unmasking of a name? And Brennan said, not that I remember, it's kind of fuzzy. Mm. You know, now Samantha Power gets subpoenaed. Was it the U.N. ambassador? Right, now, the, what does a U.N. ambassador do? She's yeah. a diplomat. She's not She's involved not, in intelligence. Correct, correct. Uh, she, she should have had nothing to do with this unless it was for political purpose. So the unmasking is a below-the-radar screen crisis Where that occurred at the tail end of the Obama administration when they began to fear, hey, Donald Trump might really win. we got to do something about it. Right, from a legal standpoint, what does this mean? You get subpoenaed. There's going to be an investigation. They're going to have to talk in front of the House, the House, this committee. But what happens next? This comes under the bailiwick of uh, Bob Mueller next because unmasking for legitimate intelligence purposes your, you, you have in your hands the transcript of a conversation between an American sure. and a foreign uh, spy. It, will, it, it doesn't make sense unless you know who the American is. You can unmask the American for that purpose. Yep. It's perfectly lawful. Unmasking for political purposes is hacking, and that's a felony that they ought to be prosecuted for, and that's part of what Bob Mueller is looking and at. I'm just and wondering, uh, go ahead, Pete. No, do you, do you think it's something they could ultimately prove? Do you have a sense that there could be a there there? Yes, because all unmasking leaves electronic fingerprints. Somebody did it and and couldn't but will erase they be able to the obfuscate fact that they the way Washington there. does and say, well, it was for this reason or that yeah, reason, not for no, that's, that's that's a defense to the charge, and it's a value judgment that Bob Mueller is going to make. A, can I prove this? B, is it worth it? Right. Is it a, a legitimate use of our resources? Now I will say this: the one way to get politics out of this, if and if if the evidence leads you to believe, leads us to. Bernie Sanders being unmasked. Then Democrats will say, that's us too. And Democrats will say, the most popular Democrat in the country right now is Bernie Sanders. Right. We, that, that's where the rubble hit we, the road in this investigation. We have, we have three Republicans that we know were spied on Donald Trump, Rand Paul, Lindsey Graham. We know this? Well, they've said it. They've said, they've yeah. said it. It, and maybe if there, is, if yes. there is a Democrat in that group, of course, Bernie Sanders for the Republicans would be the best Democrat, but any Democrat in that group, then we, we, we realize... We would have that, an honest investigation. Correct. And mass suspicionless spying is going to destroy us. Yeah. All, right, All right. Thank you, Judge. You're welcome, guys. And that was on the prompter, but that certainly was a great way to end this segment. Thank you, I, Mr. I hope, hope you do that later.